Well, let's take a look at the radar across Eastern Carolina. And again, it's dry for tonight. Should be a pretty good night for those of you with the evening plans. Nothing going on. And as you take a look, cloud free as well. We'll back out and show you, though, that we do have a system back to the west that will impact us as we get later in the week. Right now, high pressure taking care of the southeastern part of the country. The high going to slide around. And again, tomorrow should be a pretty good day with a high in place. This is tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon may try to retreat back into the Atlantic a little bit this uh front that we're seeing back to the west that will actually move in our direction slowly, but you notice it's not getting much of a push. Part of the reason the high pressure is just sitting right over the top of us and it looks like as we head into Thursday morning that high will start to slide to the east a little, giving the front a chance to move in. Here comes a secondary front that will start to push across as well, then that will eventually make it in as we make it to the weekend. Behind that, some much cooler air we'll talk about in just a second. Otherwise, as you take a look at tomorrow morning, what we expect is to start off with sunshine. Looks like quite a bit of sunshine as we go through the middle part of the day. Some of these clouds off the coast trying to back up and into our area. I think tomorrow's still a mostly sunny day across the region, and it looks like uh, for tonight we're going to continue to see uh, the temperatures dropping back into the 50s, as you can see, mainly into the mid 50s. Now along the coast, you're going to remain in the low 60s. That includes the Crystal Coast, the Onslow Beaches, the Outer Banks as well, and for tonight. Uh, cool with some uh, patchy fog also possible toward tomorrow morning. Northeast winds at about 5. And then again, those clouds that we're keeping an eye on, trying to push back across the region, will actually settle in. Uh, and that will keep our temperatures tomorrow somewhere right around the upper 70s. We're looking 78, 79, maybe even 80 degrees tomorrow. That's near normal. Normal high 79 this time of year. Few clouds possible tomorrow with the winds out of the northeast at about 5 to 10. Now, as we get into Thursday, we get that onshore floor, uh, the onshore flow picking up quite a bit. And notice even a chance of a shower trying to uh, pop up on the uh, future track. But again, that's going to be hard to find as we go through the day on Thursday. Thursday. Maybe actually as we head into Friday, we can boost that up a little bit, though, as you can see with some showers trying to push up next to the coast, plus a cold front headed in our direction. Now, what happens with that cold front after it pushes through with the shower chances Friday and Saturday? Look at those temperatures on Saturday, Sunday, and even into early next week. We're going to be below normal. A few days may struggle to get out of the 60s.